What's up guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sydney and you're on the counter in Sydney channel. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 items that were lifesavers for me in those first few months after having a baby. It's truly so different for every person so I'm talking about my experience, what I loved, what I needed, and there's the obvious things like diapers and wipes and things like that so we're not talking about that. I'm talking about 10 items that I either didn't have on my registry or I wasn't sure if I should put on my registry and they were so, so helpful. And my daughter is on the other side of this camera in her pack and play right now. So if you hear lots of baby noises, that's my daughter. I'll put pictures of the items up over here. So the first item is a baby bottle steam sterilizer. So this is absolutely something that I thought I may not need. It seems kind of extra to me, but if you think that you will ever use a bottle even if you exclusively breastfeed, there's going to be some times when you pump. And if you're constantly needing to be in the kitchen cleaning all these bottles, or if your husband is like running errands for you and doing these things, it's hard for him to keep up on a million bottles because bottles aren't just the top and the bottom. They have a thousand parts to them. It's just really stinking hard to keep up on it. So if you can like rinse out all your bottle pieces and stick them all in the sterilizer and run that thing, there would be some days where we would run that thing two or three times. And it just saves you so much time. It seems kind of extra, but it is so worth it in the long run. Item number two that I wasn't sure if I needed, I remember putting a poll on Instagram saying, do I really need to get a baby swing? Is it actually necessary? I'll tell you right now that my baby is nine and a half months old and she will only sleep in her swing. So if I don't want to have her napping on my chest and I want to be able to take a shower or, or do some laundry or something like that, she will only sleep in her swing. And she's phased in and out of this a couple times, but originally when we first had her, this was the first way that I was able to actually like go to the bathroom or take a nap or anything. It was the only way I could get her out of my hands without her crying was to put her in the swing and get that thing rocking. And you don't understand until you have a baby that there are gonna be times when you have to set them down and they won't automatically love laying in cribs or laying in bassinets. But sometimes you do have to set your baby down. Even now, it's the only way that I can get her to nap without me. It is a lifesaver and for me, I would say it is a must have item. I got, I think it's called the Snugga Puppy Fisher Price Swing and it's worked great for us. I recommend. It's not the most expensive one out there on the market and it works fine. Item number three is the Bath Lotus Bath Seat. It's like a little cushiony flower and you stick it in your kitchen sink and you can give them a bath in there. Again, my baby is nine and a half months old and this is still the only way to give her baths. It's so convenient for everybody. She's always liked her baths because you just plop her in there. It's really cushiony and she gets to sit straight up. And even when they're so little, it keeps them safe from having to like juggle your baby in the sink and try and hold on to them with one hand or whatever. And if you have a large bath, it's really hard to like reach over the bathtub and try and scrub your baby because it's like a far reach and it's deep. So it just keeps it really easy. Item number four that I was really stupid about is nursing bras. So I thought, you know, I'm not gonna know what size I need until I have the baby and until my milk comes in and things like that. And partially that's true, but I told myself, I'll wait until after I have the baby. But you're not running around and running errands during that time anyway. And you don't have to have a perfect size, literally anything so that when you're laying in bed those few days after having a baby, like I didn't think this through. Like I just wore a t-shirt because I didn't have any bra or anything that would fit and you're like nursing on and off constantly. So I just wore a t-shirt, no bra but milk is pouring out of you like all the time. I had to sleep on a beach towel and I would still wake up absolutely soaked. My shirt is completely drenched. It's disgusting. And I bought those like um, pads that you like stick inside your bra that um, soak up the milk. But the problem is if you don't have a bra on and you're just sticking it like on the inside of your t-shirt, it'll move around and it's not gonna catch it. So like a week in, my parents were visiting us to meet the baby and my mom ran and picked me up a nursing bra and this made the most gigantic difference in my life once I was able to have a bra on, put the pads on the inside, it's, it's stuck against you so it's actually catching the milk now and you don't and you don't wake up in a puddle every night. Just get a size. Go a little large because you're gonna be engorged for a little bit. You don't have to get like a 36B or a 34C. Like you don't have to go through all that. Just 
There are a lot of bras that come like in a medium or large. Just get a generic nursing bra. Anything will do. Just have something to get you through the beginning. The fifth item is a nursing poncho. This goes over your head and you put your baby under it so nobody can see you when you're nursing your baby. And I don't know why this didn't like cross my mind um, before I had the baby, but it's one of those things that you end up ordering after a couple weeks because it's driving you nuts because you're always trying to cover yourself with blankets. Um, I had people visiting me to meet the baby and during that time I'm like sitting on the couch. I'm not getting up, hiding away in the bedroom to feed my baby, you know, so you're sitting there with people. And I would literally put a blanket over my head and go under there and because your baby hasn't learned how to latch perfectly. Like you're still figuring each other out at that point, but if you at least have one of these ponchos, you can nurse wherever you go, whether you're in public or around family or whatever, you're gonna end up probably buying one at some point anyway. So I would just have it ahead of time so you're ready in case you do need to nurse and can't get into a different bedroom or a different room at the time. You don't want to be hiding under blankets all the time. The sixth item is a diaper caddy. I remember literally asking people on my Instagram story as well, like, why do you get a caddy? What is the point of it? Does it just sit beside your changing table? I don't really know. But I found out very quickly, like in those first few weeks after having a baby, sometimes you're gonna be only in your bedroom, like especially at night. You're gonna need diapers, you're gonna need wipes. You're not just gonna be pulling diapers out of the box. You're gonna want everything concise and together so that anywhere you go, you don't have to grab your wipes, you don't have to grab a few diapers and go to bed at night. You don't have to carry it to the living room. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna grab mine real quick because I have it down here. I have this thing stocked up right here and when she was a baby I kept this in her room. It took me a little while to figure out that the whole point of this is so that you can carry all of it at once. You don't have to grab a few diapers and it is super handy to just be able to walk to any room in your house. Number seven is the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. I wondered if this actually was as amazing as everybody said and it is. Your babies are gonna go through different stages of sleep. Um, sometimes they're gonna be great sleepers, sometimes they're gonna struggle. And for me, it's been a journey of always trying different things because they'll be really great at sleeping in a sleep sack and then all of a sudden they won't. And then they'll be really great at sleeping on their back and then all of a sudden they won't. So like these things keep changing, but for a while, like probably like two or three months, she would not sleep long periods unless she was in her sleep sack. So when she went through this stage, I think it was at like three to six months, it was amazing. All right, I'm gonna be holding a baby for a little bit of the video because she wants to be holded, don't ya? <laughs> okay, I think it's the only way we're gonna get through this video. So item number eight is lanolin nipple cream. I had this, but I think for whatever reason, I like just kept not using it. I think part of it is because I didn't have nursing bras. So it was just like making everything oily and even grosser. And I just kept not using it. And I had so much pain in nursing the first couple weeks. And as soon as I just got the cream out, started using it consistently, it helped significantly. Now looking back, if I would have just started out using that consistently, my experience those first couple weeks could have been so different. So I'd say when you, to get the nipple cream and to use it all the time at first. Item number nine is something else that I kind of tried to do without. It's postpartum underwear, the like adult diapers. I got Always Discreet Boutique. I knew going into it to get something like that, but I didn't understand what to get or how they worked or anything. So I actually got like the overnight pads. Um, they're really thick and really long. But right after I gave birth, the birthing center actually put one of the adult diapers on me and it was so comfortable and I felt so safe in it and I didn't feel like I was gonna leak or like things were gonna gush out. I don't know, it just, it was so comfy. For the first two weeks after having a baby, I slept in just that. So the day after having her, my husband actually went and picked me up a pack of those and they're way better than putting on um, a pair of underwear that's tight and uncomfortable and having to put a pad over it and still being afraid that you might leak. So just get those ahead of time. They're gonna be way better. And the last item is get at least one baby monitor and that seems obvious, right? <laughs> but we moved from Florida to Indiana with a two week old baby. So we didn't set one up when we were in Florida. We didn't set one up when we got up here because we were staying with family. But eventually when we got into our own house, it took a few days still 
and I finally set up a monitor and it is life changing because you can finally leave the room. You can leave your baby in a swing. You can put them for a nap in their bassinet. It gives you a second to leave the room and know that your baby is fine. You can see them, you can hear them. Like, you know what I mean? It just gives you options. But the reason I say at least one is because I think about it even now. I have one monitor and it's where her crib and her swing are and it goes back and forth. But I always think it'd be so nice to have one in our bedroom and it'd be nice to have one in the living room. Like anywhere where she is, if you have a device that you can use multiple um, cameras on, do it. It's great to always have an eye on your baby and to be able to put them down here and there. We specifically got one that does not have a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth connection or anything like that. We didn't want phones to be able to connect to it. We didn't want creepy people to be able to log in and see our baby sleeping. So we got one that only connects camera to the monitor device. There's lots of other things that you're obviously gonna need, but some of those you really won't need for a long time. Like you don't have to get them immediately. Pack and plays, high chairs, baby gates, cribs. If you're looking to save some money, those things can wait. You can buy them over the course of an, a few months. All those things can wait. These are some of the thing, items though that I would get right off the bat. My personal opinion from my experience, but those are just my personal recommendations. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks!